At some point, every single one of us gets emotionally triggered. An emotional trigger is one of the most unwarranted aspects of a spiritual experience, as every trigger has a secret message, leading to further inquisition about the self and the unconscious aspects of the psyche. When triggered, most people go into the default response of wanting to resist this inherent resistance. Most people try to resist a trigger because they believe that the feeling of being triggered is something that must be pacified by circumventing the initial root cause of the trigger. However, to neutralize a trigger, there's only one way to understand it, and that is by going into the trigger to resolve the initial root cause. By seeing the trigger as an important teacher of our consciousness, leading us into the true source of healing that must be understood in order to have that trigger transcended for good. Everybody gets triggered time after time, but most people look at triggers as some aspects of themselves that are connected to the externality. In other words, most people see triggers as factors occurring outside of them and outside of their conscious awareness, as factors that they cannot control and therefore need to be triggered by as a function of their own sense of self. However, triggers are important to understand because they lead us into the parts of us that need healing, that need understanding and reconciliation through the awareness of why they are existent in the first place. And we get triggered for a multitude of reasons, but each one is an important portal into our deep understanding. Similarly to the experience of pain, a trigger is something that evokes a deep somatic response. It is something that makes us confront the unconscious aspect of our psyche that can only be resolved when the trigger comes up. In the case of pain, pain is a reaction that is visceral in nature and comes up to the surface to have us acknowledge some area that deserves healing. Every time pain arises, it is our body exhibiting a cue to force us into a state of awareness. Pain, too, is a teacher, and it speaks to us through this unmistakable response that allows us to understand the need to look within. Similarly, every emotional trigger has a precursor, and that precursor is something that we aren't consciously aware of, which is why when the trigger does come up, it feels very triggering to us. The reason why a trigger actually feels so uncomfortable is because it is something that exists within a blind spot of our consciousness. It is something that makes us feel in a volatile way, whether it is anger, frustration, or some other form of discontent, which forces us to look into the root cause of that trigger. Now, typically when a trigger arises, it is something in our environment that provokes it, be it another person, a situation, or some unwanted circumstance that puts us in a chaotic state of being. But every time that we feel triggered by something, if we look deeply into that trigger, we can find a root cause something that occurred a long time ago usually, maybe even in our childhood, which led to the formation of that deeply rooted suppression. A trigger places you in a heightened state of awareness of whatever it is that is occurring within you. Very often we overlook the somatic signals that our body is exhibiting, be it a gut feeling telling us not to do something or to pursue a certain thing, or a feeling of fear, discontent, or discomfort within our bodies that we must acknowledge as an intuitive sign to move in a certain direction. If we overlook our intuitive signals, if we feel disconnected from our bodies and from our heart's consciousness, it's going to be more probable that we are triggered by different things in the world. Because a trigger is also synonymous with a degree of judgment, or a degree of cognitive bias that places us in a state of separation. Every time we are triggered, we are experiencing the disintegration between our inner matrix and the outer matrix, because essentially we are responding in overdrive to a situation which deserves our need. For integration. Every time you feel triggered, instead of looking at the environment as the issue or the root cause of the trigger, it's important to see that you actually are the one that is being triggered. And if you choose to remedy that cause for triggering, then whenever that stimuli, be it a person, place, or thing, arises in the future, you may not experience the same response, because the trigger ultimately is you. And when you can come to accept that you are the biggest trigger in your reality, you will start to remedy the cause for triggering being only your own sense of self. So how can you resolve emotional triggering? Well, the first thing to look at is the need to achieve emotional neutrality or the depolarization in that state of the trigger arising. For example, if you're in a situation in which something unpleasant comes up that reminds you of a discomforting experience in your past, it's important to pause and to see that the situation that you're currently in is evoking a familiar response due to some degree of trauma that you've experienced in the past. 
Due to that initial experience remaining unresolved in your subconscious territory, this new trigger that arises poses an even heightened degree of that response. You may feel like you are a victim in whatever situation you are in when the trigger arises. However, this feeling of victimhood is only in regards to you and your own source of the triggering. If you feel like the trigger is something that cannot be lifted because you are associating yourself with the experience of being fixated to it, then you must take a step back and reevaluate why that trigger is arising. What is it within you that is making you confront that particular trigger? What is it within you that is responding so harshly to something that a lot of other people aren't even going to be responding to in a similar way? Remember that every single person existent in this matrix experiences a matrix of their own creation. A world in which every other stimuli that is ever contacted by every other person, place, and thing is going to feel unique to you. Because in essence, you are construing this holographic projection of reality through your own attachment to everyone and everything. Everything that you experience is existent through your own field of conscious awareness. Which means that whenever you are triggered, it is not a trigger that is creating the response, but rather your own consciousness, which is routing your emotional response through your mind and into your physical being. Through this lens of perspective, we can see that a trigger is not something to be pacified through resistance, but rather through acceptance and awareness of why it is that you are feeling the way that you are. Every time a trigger arises, it is teaching you to become your own guru and to reach a state of deeper understanding about whatever it is that you are dealing with in the world. If your subconscious is actively projecting the entirety of your physical experience, then you can see how a trigger is simply another component of the subconscious that arises as an unconscious manifestation of itself in order to teach you how to achieve deeper inner resolve. To see the parts of you that are still needing confrontation with love, acceptance, tolerance, and non-judgment. Very often the trigger is simply presented to us for us to learn how to achieve this state of depolarization rather than choosing to exhibit a strong emotional response by simply observing whatever it is that arises and choosing to calm ourselves in the physical space, we're choosing to emotionally neutralize that cause for resistance within us. And this is one of our primary tasks as a human being. If we can learn to emotionally neutralize from within, we can move ourselves into a state of inner equilibrium, so much so that the triggers won't even affect us any longer. Instead of coming into conflict with emotional triggers, we can see that they're teaching us the art of observation. They're teaching us how to understand that this Zen still point of our consciousness is existent when we move from this egoic state of responsivity to everything in the environment into a state of calm observation and understanding from this innermost soulful state of being. If you can be fully present with your experience at present and experience love and connection to all things, you will not be emotionally triggered by anything. It actually is not possible to be triggered unless you are existent in a volatile space of your consciousness in which you are egoically reacting to the world around you. Rather, if you choose to observe from the standpoint of your soul, you're going to be experiencing a fifth dimensional kind of consciousness, that awareness of all things as they are. And this isness of being puts you in a state of calm acceptance. Another way to look at a trigger is as a barrier in between your subconscious and your conscious mind. This barrier carries this emotional charge to it because it is something that you are not seeing is creating a source of conflict in your life. Through the prism of your conscious awareness, you can see how changing the meaning that you prescribe to things changes the way that they feel for you. And a trigger is an experience that is so triggering because it feels like something that we can't understand. For as long as we can't meet our own needs, we will continue to be triggered by lots of external variables which we believe put us at odds with ourselves. If we believe that we are separate from the environment, we are constantly going to be triggered by it. If we feel that the environment is constantly triggering us, we are going to be the primary trigger for our own experience. Unless you can come to see that you are creating the environmental experience for yourself by calibrating your inner environment to a particular frequency, you're going to keep being suspended in this field of possibilities, which will remain a triggering experience for you. The way to transcend this feeling of uncertainty is to realize that you, in actuality, are consciously creating your experience. If it feels triggering, that is simply because you're still not aware that you are consciously creating your experience of reality. In other words, the biggest trigger of all is feeling like you are a victim in this matrix. 
because this runs in contradiction to the paradigm of existence. If you feel that you are limited in this experience and that everything in the universe is happening to you, but not necessarily for you, you're going to keep feeling like you cannot control your experience of being, that you cannot control your awareness, and that what happens to you will invariably be affected by some external programming rather than your innermost alignment. But what if you decide to change this assumption that the external matrix programming is creating your inner matrix and rather see that your inner matrix carves out the external matrix conditions? What if you can come to see that the triggers that you experience deeply from within are just caused by a lack of awareness of why it is that you're manifesting the external experience? If you can come to see that you're actively shaping your life from the paradigm of deep inner feeling, you can start to see how changing the way that you feel about yourself changes the way the entire world feels for you. Changing the way that you relate to yourself and to your own innermost feelings will change the way that those feelings come and go. If you resist your feelings, they will feel like tsunamis that come crashing into your inner landscape and make you feel completely chaotic from within. But if you come to observe feelings, even unwanted ones, as small waves that ripple in the field of your consciousness, then you can come to see how they can come and go without leaving much of a chaotic emotional response for you to handle. Remember that nothing is fixed and nothing is permanent in your matrix, which means one of the primary things to remember when an emotional trigger comes up is that it is a temporary aspect of your experience coming into the focal point of your awareness for you to understand a deep lesson about whatever experience it is that you are manifesting. If there is a persistent pattern or loophole that is entering your consciousness, realize that this is something you have not yet resolved within yourself. If any familiar pattern keeps coming up to bring back some unwanted emotions, realize that there is something about that experience you have not yet learned or accepted. Nothing is happening to punish you or to damage you in any way, but rather to teach you something about yourself to allow you to master the art of integration. And if you can come to learn that deep seed of awareness within every trigger, then that trigger will no longer present itself in your reality. The beauty of coming into deep understanding rather than conflict with your emotional triggers is that you can come to see them as allies in your experience of expanded consciousness. Every trigger is here to help you evolve, to understand a part of you that needs to be understood in order for you to upgrade your awareness further. So learn to see with love rather than resistance. Learn to see with unity rather than hatred toward even the unwanted aspects of your consciousness. Because all these factors must be included in a cohesive, dynamic artwork of your awareness in order to help you find the way back to true union with yourself and with the soul of